is John from Flat Cat Gear. Um, talking today about the um, stove system for uh, HX pots. Uh, this is the modified version. We've taken the uh, adapter plate mounted to the Fire Maple uh, 300 and we're using the uh, Inferno heat exchanger mug. Um, did a bunch of verification testing a couple days. Uh, did 10 boils and looked to see what the fuel efficiency uh, looked like. Now, I made some changes to the test. Uh, normally I boil two cups, 70 degrees C water. What I decided to do was I changed it to more uh, metric. So I'm using um, 500 milliliters and I've started at uh, 20 degrees C. So what I'm doing is I'm boiling a little bit more water and a little bit colder water to get my numbers. And after 10 boils, the average amount of fuel consumption was 4.9 grams. Here's the raw data. And if you take a look at the system, this is an extremely efficient system. I've mapped out the efficiency versus uh, fuel usage, and you can see we're at uh, the 4.9 grams. We're at hovering around 76% fuel efficiency. And as a reference, I put down one of the best stoves on the market right now, which is a pocket rocket. And uh, that's quite a bit lower. So we've got a really outstanding system here. Also, I took some uh, snapshot data of temperature profiles and I'm going to share those with you. And as you can see, the this, this stove looks like it's uh, under pretty good control. It doesn't get too hot. Um, pretty nice. Now, that's the great news. Um, you know, fuel efficiency is just top notch, probably world class. Now, I've got even better news for you. So, one of the things we were looking at was, you know, uh, effectiveness in the wind. And so, one of the things I was playing around with is I uh, was working around with this uh, windshield. And the idea was it would block some of the ports here and, and make the efficiency go up with the wind. And it turns out, after testing all of that, it turns out you don't need to do that. Uh, we found a couple of surprising things. It turns out the best thing you can do in the wind is to turn the power up a little bit. The reason being is if you take a look at the bottom of the uh, stove, when you look at this, this is fairly well enclosed. So it blocks the wind. So when you're burning gas, you're building up pressure and it's forcing the gases out radially. And so what happens is if you burn it a little bit hotter, it builds up more pressure, pushes the gases out, and it actually kind of negates the effect of the wind coming in and blowing against it. So from that standpoint of view, we've got one of the most fuel efficient systems on the market now, and also one of the best performance in the wind. So come visit us at www.flatcatgear.com.